My brothers and sisters in Christ, as my vacation continues, today's pre-recorded reflection is from the Office of Readings for Friday of the second week in Ordinary Time, which is from the second reading is from the Treatise on Spiritual Perfection by Diodocus of Photikis, Bishop. No one who is in love with himself is capable of loving God. The man who loves God is the one who mortifies his self-love for the sake of the immeasurable blessings of divine love. Such a man never seeks his own glory, but only the glory of God. If a person loves himself, he seeks his own glory, but the man who loves God loves the glory of his Creator. Anyone alive to the love of God can be recognized from the way he constantly strives to glorify him by fulfilling all his commandments and by delighting in his own abasement. Because of his great majesty, it is fitting that God should receive glory, but if he hopes to win God's favor, it becomes man to be humble. If we possess this love for God, we too will rejoice in his glory as St. John the Baptist did, and we shall never stop repeating, his fame must increase, but mine must diminish. I know a man who, though lamenting his failure to love God as much as he desires, yet loves him so much that his soul burns with ceaseless longing for God to be glorified and for his own complete effacement. This man has no feeling of self-importance, even when he receives praise. So deep is his desire to humble himself that he never even thinks of his own dignity. He fulfills his priestly duty by celebrating the liturgy, but his intense love for God is an abyss that swallows up all consciousness of his high office. His humility makes him oblivious of any honor it might bring him, so that in his own estimation, he is never anything but a useless servant. Because of his desire for self-abasement, he regards himself as though degraded from his office. His example is one that we ourselves should follow by fleeing from all honor and glory for the sake of the immeasurable blessings of God's love, for he has loved us so much. Anyone who loves God in the depths of his heart has already been loved by God. In fact, the measure of a man's love for God depends upon how deeply aware he is of God's love for him. When this awareness is keen, it makes whoever possesses it long to be enlightened by the divine light. And this longing is so intense that it seems to penetrate his very bones. He loses all consciousness of himself and is entirely transformed by the love of God. Such a man lives in this life and at the same time does not live in it. For although he still inhabits his body, he is constantly leaving it in spirit because of the love that draws him toward God. Once the love of God has released him from self-love, the flame of divine love never ceases to burn in his heart, and he remains united to God by an irresistible longing. As the Apostle says, If we are taken out of ourselves, it is for the love of God. If we are brought back to our senses, it is for your sake. Let us pray. Father of heaven and earth, hear our prayers and show us the way to peace in the world. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.